Dimitri Mikhailovich, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to speak here at the Auto Forum in Belgrade. Cars, of course, are very important for us. I could say Germany is the cradle of modern car day industry. The first German car was built by Karl Benz in 1885 and I think it set off a process of innovation. Today, automotive industry is a, the key industrial factor in Germany. German car makers like Volkswagen, BMW, Daimler, Porsche, Audi produce 6 million cars in Germany and more than 5.5 million abroad. It's a factor of which produces 11% of our GDP and it employs 700,000 people. What's also important there is that among these 700,000, there's 30,000 new students who enter the vocational training in a car company each day, each year. And that is something, it's a concept which we are also working together with our partners here in Serbia to develop this concept of vocational training. Another key element for us in Germany, and I think it's, it's a worldwide trend of course, is the investment in development. German companies invest more than 30 billion euro a year in the development of new models and new uh, uh, challenges for the automotive industry. So that goes to energy efficiency, better use of renewable sources of energy, it's about a better application of IT technology, but it's also very much about car safety. Um, car safety and road safety is also in Germany a key concept. Um, we managed to reduce the number of, of deaths in uh, traffic uh, between 1974 and 2014 by, um, by 80%, it's still too high, but uh, it shows that by having a, a structured concept you can do a lot. And we have a concept by the German government focusing on car safety, infrastructure and also the uh, awareness of people, training of people, and our goal is to further reduce this number of fatalities in the, um, in the, um, uh, on the roads until 2020 by further 40 percent. The car industry is of course also a very important element, the automotive sector, in our relationships between Germany and Serbia. We have a, a number of German companies like Leoni, Drexel, Meyer, Bosch who have invested more than 180 million euro here and have created more than 11,000 jobs. And we hope that this will continue. We also are producing cars here. I mentioned the uh, teaming up of, for example, Mercedes and Icabus, producing buses which we see every day here on the streets in Belgrade. And lastly, what I want to say is, uh, what is very important is that mobility really brings people together. So this is also a key element of uh, developing uh, safe car travel and here the uh, connectivity plays a huge role and uh, we very much support the efforts of Serbia, of the Western Balkan countries to increase connectivity, um, to build new roads, new infrastructure, not just in Serbia but across the region. Um, we have uh, uh, started the uh, so-called Berlin process where uh, connectivity plays a key role and the European Union is uh, very much supporting uh, key infrastructure projects which were uh, agreed last year in Vienna with the amount of up to 1 billion euro. So, I think there's uh, really lots to talk about what the car industry is doing, new developments, car safety, interconnectivity, and I wish you very productive and very interesting discussions here at the Auto Forum today. Thank you.